and I'm going to jump in to Marketing Cloud. For those of you who have seen Marketing Cloud Engagement, this is gonna look really familiar to you. This is the home screen that you see where you can actually actually access all the different studios. Um, email studio and content builder within it are primarily what you're um, most familiar with and, and or likely most familiar with. Um, but there's things like journey builder where we saw that brief screenshot before. We can see Einstein stuff is peppered all over the place, all these Einstein features here. Um, we have a great link to additional learning about Einstein. Salesforce does a really good job in Marketing Cloud to linking out to additional articles and information um, about Einstein and Marketing Cloud features, so make sure to take advantage of those. There's lots of little pieces of information and tweaks that you can make, and, and these can be invaluable when you're setting up and maintaining Einstein features. And also, you can see we have Einstein messaging insights up here, a little Einstein in a circle. Um, he is going to give us information about currently running journeys and messages, and he's going to call out, hey, you have more opens than usual on this particular email. Maybe check that out. Or your unsubscribe, right, uh, unsubscribe rate is higher for this particular journey than it should be. Maybe check that out and see. So it's not going to solve those issues for you, but allows you, uh, it gives you a heads up so you can see those things. But the majority of Einstein features are within the little Einstein Studio button right here. I'm going to jump to the overview so we can talk about some of this stuff. I do want to note again, um, a, this big banner up here, this has some basic information about Einstein, um, how data is used, but also it has information about specific features. It outlines what everything does and it allows you to view documentation. Really important, so even after you have turned this on, you're not on your own. You can see all that information there and dig into the ins and outs of particular tools. Um, but I want to start with a couple tools down here. I'm scrolling down, uh, copy insights and content selection. So these allow you to view, um, but actually, let me jump in here to Copy Insights first. This is probably the most straightforward, easiest to understand of the tools. This is going to um, show you different subject lines that you have set. This is largely subject line based um, and tell you uh, whether the engagement rate was above average, average, below average. It'll rank all of these subject lines compared to each other. And so you can see what is and isn't working. And then it'll start to tell you um, different attributes of these subject lines. So does it have a number? Does it have a percent off? Is it um, a short character count? Is it a long character count? Does it have personalization in it? And it'll start to show you whether or not that impacts the um, engagement with that subject line, if it's causing more people to open the email. Um, if it has a question mark in this case, it has a slight impact. It's resulting in more people opening an email. Maybe you should use more question marks in your subject lines. Um, whereas the emoji, you're using emoji, not a huge impact. It's the one dot, the red dot here. So it's um, maybe not causing or resulting in meaningful opens when you do that. Um, you can see here, it also looks at the tone of your email and makes recommendations based on it or shows you how many um, uh, how many emails you've sent out have a particular emotional tone. So let's see if we have pessimism over here on the on the left side, there's been one email and actually had a positive impact on the engagement. Maybe not what you would see overall, but it just gives you an idea of what this looks like. While I go back to the dashboard here, I do want to note that this is um, what's called the Northern Trail Outfitters or NTO instance of Marketing Cloud. This is a read-only instance of Marketing Cloud that partners in Salesforce have access to in order to demonstrate the end results of features. So if you're working with a partner, if you're working with Salesforce and have questions about any of these tools, definitely consider following up with them and they can demonstrate within this instance here as well. Um, now we can't actually edit what's in here. This is all read only, but again, really great for demonstrations as well. The other content specific tool I wanna note is our content testing. Um, this allows you to take um, maybe decisions that you are making manually and automate them. So for example, let's say you have an email and you are sending uh, one particular image to people in Texas and another image to people in Virginia. Um, if you are setting that up in Email Studio, you're probably 
creating a dynamic content rule to do that. You're manually saying, hey, here's my Texas image. Here's my Virginia image. What content testing does is it takes all of that decision making out of your hands and leaves it to AI. So you're now saying, hey, Einstein, here are the four images that um, could be sent to somebody using what you know about these people, determine which image is going to have the highest engagement, lead to the most click throughs, for example, or the most conversions, the most sales. And then Einstein is going to start sending out these messages on its own. Let me see if we can get a good view here. Uh, gonna send out these messages on its own and um, will uh, determine which images should be sent to who. So that allows you then to focus on different strategy and additional strategy around your emails and the approach that you're going to take. A really powerful tool. Um, and again, it's something that um, you can collect this information as you start using Marketing Cloud and then um, as more time goes along, you can refine that strategy. All right, a um, couple other things I wanna note here as well. Um, these top three are really um, affect uh, the buckets that you put uh, subscribers into, the engagement scoring, and then when and how you are sending messages to them. So engagement scoring um, based on primarily the number of clicks, a little bit on the number of opens has been, the, the emphasis on that has been reduced with changes that have been made in the industry. Um, help determine, help Einstein determine if somebody is all the way at the higher end, a loyalist, somebody who is likely to engage with your emails, all the way down to somebody who's a doormat or win back, somebody who needs some encouraging, some re-nurturing in order to start opening your emails again. Um, Einstein allows you to segment these individuals into different groups in your journeys. And again, this is another tool. You turn it on, Einstein's gonna collect the data and then make those segments available in your journeys. And then the other two I want to emphasize, oh, went back there instead of to the dashboard, we'll jump into the dashboard again, are send time optimization and engagement frequency. Uh, send time optimization is going to show um, the best time to send an email to somebody when they're most likely to open it. So I can say, hey, everyone in this journey, send them an email within the next 24 hours, but send it at the time they're most likely to open it. So you're not saying, let's wait until 9 a.m. You're saying, let's wait until the time that's best for this individual subscriber. And it's quite literally drag and drop, and you can add that to your tool. Um, the engagement frequency is a similar kind of concept uh, in that it's determining if somebody has too many emails sent to them, too few emails sent to them, just the right number of emails sent to them. It's kind of like the Goldilocks of uh, email sending. Um, is this just right number of emails, too many or too few? So if somebody is getting too few emails, you can set it up so they get more emails um, over the course of the week and pull them up into um, an area where they're more likely to engage. Um, if, they have, if they're too saturated, maybe you wanna hold off sending to the, the, your emails to them. Um, so really cool tools here. There's some others. Um, one thing I do want to note as I jump back to the presentation here before we get into our next demo, um, we do have um, recommendations. So I didn't note that before. That can be used for product recommendations or article recommendations, either on a website um, or within an email. It is a little more complicated to set up because you have to have a product catalog associated with it, but still a fairly straightforward thing and still another powerful Einstein tool that you have access to. 